when we decided to do this DVD, there was a lot of discussion about the visual style. You know, a lot of uh, animated series, when they do DVD versions of those characters, they explore different styles and do them in different ways. We kind of felt like since we were taking them to such a different place, we wanted something that really kind of still made it feel like home, visually. So for the film, we uh, were tasked to come up with a whole new uh, world. Even though it's a high school, it's a My Little Pony equestria version of what a high school would be. It is a challenge because we've never done humans on the show before and we had to, you know, make sure that it fit within the canon of the series. So we had to, you know, take what we did with the ponies and, and figure out how they would look as humans, which is pretty challenging because uh, we've been so used to seeing them on four legs and we had to get them up on two legs. Come on, Spike. I do not want to be like this for longer than I have to. To sort of have those worlds collide and have Twilight be an actual human is something that I've pictured and then you see it come to life and it's so well done and it's so cute. I think the fans will really get a kick out of it. Imagine if one of them showed up in Equestria saying they came from a place filled with tall, fleshy, two-legged creatures with these. We'd think they were crazy. Hmm, you make a good point. So the challenge was to make them look normal, but not too normal, not too generic. They need to have their own unique look to them, and I think uh, I think we pulled that off. Hi, my name is Kara Kashitska, and I am a character designer for My Little Pony. And right now, I'm just drawing Twilight Sparkle for the movie. And my job was to turn the pony from a pony into a teenage girl. The idea behind that was to keep as much of the look of the pony when it goes into the girl. So what I did was I really referenced the, the shape of the face or the hair, and I tried to put it all together to make a girl who looks like she fits into the world. And I have the little pony up for reference always, so I know that I'm still keeping within the style. And I think the most important thing about the character is to make sure I get the eyes right, because it's all, it's all about the eyes. For, especially for Twilight, she's got these really big, beautiful eyes. The fall formal princess should be someone with heart and determination. You proved that you got them both. Yeah! We wanted our world to, to hook up with Ponyville, but it, it also had to be unique and have its own look because we're, we're recreating this whole universe. Even though it's an alternate universe uh, to Ponyville, it needs to hook up together. I'm sure that Studio B will be throwing some things in the background there that when people you know pause they will be catching lots and lots and lots of, of things they're they're very good at, at throwing in stuff for the fans to to find our background artist would would put a lot of little cues that were in our ponyville backgrounds like curly cues and and a lot of the canterlot architecture we used in the school so we tied them together that way and it was actually really fun you know we'd get all this artwork in and you would go huh this kind of has a fairy tale high school vibe to it. I'm kind of digging it. Like, it was really an interesting thing to kind of find that balance in. This looks like too boring. This is a boring high school. This high school looks too magical. Hey, this high school is just right. Okay. We had become so accustomed to drawing things at a certain proportion as far as doors and windows and things and, and to kind of go in there and draw in kind of the same style but, but adjust everything to work with taller uh, characters was a bit of a challenge. And just the idea of modernizing everything because we were used to drawing things, props and, and tools made out of wood and, and iron and things but now we had this whole, these, these options to do high tech things, cell phones. so. We had to kind of train ourselves not to draw in that old style, but to kind of, you know, adapt to the new world. So, I just push the letters here, and then the words and moving pictures will come up here? <sighs> That's right. 
Maybe this place does have magic. I think my favorite character from the film would have to be Sunset Shimmer, and that's primarily based on her design because she goes from kind of a normal looking human to this, this evil creature at the end, and it's just a really cool design character. It, it's got a real edge to it, but it's still cartoony, and that's the kind of stuff that I really like, so she's my favorite. I've had to jump through so many hoops tonight just to get my hands on this crown, and it really should have been mine all along. The thing that I'm most proud of in this film would just be the work that the, the design team did. Characters, backgrounds, props, cleanup color, everything. We really have a great team on My Little Pony, and I'm, I'm really proud to be their art director. Um, they basically make my job look good. Uh, because, you know, an art director is only as good as his design team, so that's what I'm most proud of.